Man, I got you a video today. You're going to love this one. We're going to look at the top 11, not even 10, 11 best action figure butts ever. This is great because if you're like me, you get an action figure to the store, you get home, you open it, first thing you do, flip it over, see how the butt looks. We want a good butt on our action figures. And I'm in the Kenner Vintage, so you know I want to see if it's going to be a square butt or a round butt. There's two different butts when it comes to the Kenner figures. So let's look at some butts. Number 11, I think her name's Nira. Nira's from the... I don't know, from 1997, I remember seeing this at stores. It's a cool looking figure, pretty hot looking figure too. But flip it around, check out that butt. Whew, baby got back. <laughs> yeah, that looks good, don't it? Let's start off with the top 10 with a retro figure from the Marvel Legends line, Black Widow. Whew, she can bite me anytime. Look at this, now flip it over. What does it look like? Boom! That butt was made for the just... That butt was made for more than just sitting on a toilet. Trust me, that is a nice butt. <laughs> Ooh, yes. And let's go to the Kenner Star Wars line. You know I'm going to say Princess Leia, but I'm not. Who's got the best butt in the vintage collection? Han Hall. Yeah, you don't blame me? Check this out. Whew, that's a square butt. For all you keeping count, he's a figure with a square butt. Now let's go with number eight. One of the X-Men herself, Rogue. Rogue is, look at this, figure looks great and everything, but who cares, flip it around, check this out. It looks like an upside down heart. That is what I call red beans and rice, didn't miss her. Oh, here's a line people usually forget about, but it's from the 90s, it's from the Flash Gordon line. Don't worry, we're not going to look at a Flash Gordon butt, we're going to look at Dale. I don't know who Dale is, I didn't ever watch Flash Gordon. Maybe it's Dale Roberts, I'm not really sure, but let's check this out. That's the figure, let's see your butt. Oh, a side view. You can really see. That's more cushion for the pushing right there. That is a nice plastic butt. Now let's go back to the Marvel line with a really nice butt of a guy that's wearing all green. Vision. I don't know why he likes green so much, but he loves green. Here he is. Now, let's flip him around. For all you ladies out there, or men out there, I don't judge. That is a nice butt. Looks kind of like my butt if you want to be honest with it, but it's a nice butt. Now let's head to the 80s. And a lot of you out there are wrestling fans. You know who I'm talking about. Miss Alyssa. Here's her figure right here. One of the first female wrestling figures we ever got. Not the first one. Just one of the first ones. So let's check this out and see what her butt looks like. It's a little flat. But it is Miss Elizabeth. So I'm going to put her on the list. That's Miss Elizabeth's butt. And I'm sure anybody who grew up in the 80s <laughs> looked at that butt a lot when it was on TV. And now you can look at it on an action figure form. <laughs> Now, if you're like me, you're ready for Star Wars, so check this out. Padme from the Unleashed line. Whew, that's a nice looking figure, but let's flip it around. Look at that Gluteus Maximus. Whew. They say silicone parts are made for toys? Yeah, if it's Padme Unleashed. Whew, I love it. Now for number three, for you Ninja Turtle fans, don't worry, I'm not going to show you Raphael or one of the Ninja Turtles. We're going to talk April. I know she wears a yellow jumpsuit, but she still got a nice little bubble in the back. Check it out. That is what I call a big, nice bubble. Well, number two, what about someone from the Spider-Man line? Don't worry, we're not going to look at Aunt May's butt. Don't worry, I looked at it. It wasn't even that special. Didn't put it on the list. So, let's look at this Spider-Woman. That's right, there's a Spider-Woman. I knew there was a Spider-Man, but there's a Spider-Woman right here. Again, Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends loves the nice butts. Let's flip it around. Whew. That was one lucky spider. I hope he bit her on the butt. Now, let's go with number one. Now, this might not be the best butt ever, but it's like the queen of butts. When you think butts, you have to think about this. Who's that girl with the Daisy Dukes on? Well, I can tell you who it is. It's Amigo Daisy Duke figure. You have to, you have to honor the legend of the booty shorts. Daisy Duke. Let's flip her around and take a look. Whew. She steals my heart on the TV show and now stealing my heart as a plastic butt toy. I love this figure and I love that butt. Although it's got writing on the butt, butt which is kind of good because if you're looking really close at the butt, you can tell your wife or girlfriend, your friends, whoever, you're just trying to read the copyright data to make sure it's not a fake Daisy Duke Miko figure. <laughs> anyway, that's a look at 11 butts. 11 butts. Tell me some butts might have missed. Tell me what butts you like when it comes to action figures. Or tell me, tell me why are you looking at action figure butts? I don't know. It's a question I ask myself all the time. But thumb up on my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, jump <laughs> that channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>